returning welcome back with open arms why is my ring light doing that hello hello and welcome back to or welcome to the joyful side i'm so glad you came back if you're not new and if you are i welcome you with open arms today we are going to be talking about self-validation before we get into that big topic of self-validation let's talk about validation what is it where does it start validation is the checking or the approval of how valid something is or an action you may do is when we show somebody something that we're proud of we want them to be proud of us too and think oh that's amazing so instead what is self-validation self-validation is doing that for yourself it is showing yourself that you can do something and being proud of yourself but it comes it stems from just like everything just like every issue every habit just like many many things in our life it stems from childhood it, it just it does when a kid or a young person pretty much anybody asks for example this is just an example Right, they're watching you, watch them do whatever they're doing, an action, for example. They're watching your reaction to see if you think that's really cool or you don't have a have a reaction. That's where it stems from. In school even, the academic validation, personal validation, when you may, for example, show somebody you can do something. That's personal validation. Personal validation, academic validation, all these different types of validation doesn't matter. It's throw all that out the window. It's the validation, it's that reassurance from an external source. Self-validation is opposite. It's time for you to validate you. It's time for you to be proud of you and it's time for you to show up for you. This comes with independence, right? This comes with self-confidence. I did a whole video on self-confidence too, by the way, but this was not in that video. So. I miss doing YouTube. I love doing YouTube. I really do. Um, I've been a little busy though. I've been, been really busy. But I'm back. Um, I just lost my train of thought. That independence, when somebody's independent, they can do things, they can go places, they can live independently by themselves comfortably they can thrive that way when we are constantly looking for external sources we're not looking inwards and when we're not looking inwards we're looking outwards all the time your inner child is is, is wanting your attention but it doesn't know that because as a child you looked for validation and got it from external sources so now as a grown person or as a young person or whoever is watching this you may say well, I never practiced self-validation and that's okay. That is why I am here. That is why I am making this video. This is why I do YouTube. I want to help people. It is why I am here on earth. I've said that line alone many times in my, in my YouTube channel. I am starting YouTube because I want to create videos like this that help people. I want to help people. That's why I'm on earth. Believe me when I say that. Because I do. I love to help people and that's what I'm doing. So by any means, do not take anything that I say to offense. Use it to benefit you. So why is self-validation beneficial? What is it? What it is, instead of looking for the external source, other people, social media, comments, likes, views, when we forget about that validation and we look inward, it will benefit you. How? As I said, it comes with independence and self-confidence. When you are able to look at yourself in the mirror and be proud of what you see, be proud of the progress that you've made, be proud of the growth that you've achieved, and, and, and be happy, genuinely happy for yourself, that's how you know you're doing good. You are winning if you are doing that. And I want to help you do that. So let's talk about how can I start self-validating? How? I would recommend practicing self-awareness you have to be aware number one of the fact that you are or that you may be if you if this is something that you want to improve is your self-validation you need to be aware that you lack it okay so you need to be aware 
number one. Number two, then you have to start action upon that awareness, upon that observance. You have to start somewhere and without even telling other people. When you become self-efficient and self-confident and self-aware, you begin to honor yourself and you deserve to be honored. You deserve to be appreciated. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be cared for. But what we tend to believe in society is that all of that comes from another person and that's this is a whole other video because I can go into a lot of depth but that's where a very big mistake comes in when it comes to relationships because we are are looking for that person to complete us when really we complete us you are in charge of your growth in a relationship you should be able to grow together not depend on that person to help you grow or validate you the best way to live is authentically and when you live authentically when you live for yourself you live happily because happiness is something that comes in waves everything comes in waves everything comes and goes every emotion comes and goes like a visitor knocking at your door it's gonna keep knocking until you let it in right it's going to keep knocking and it's gonna get louder that's like say a negative emotion it's gonna keep knocking and you're gonna feel angry you're gonna feel upset but when you just let that emotion in and you feel how you feel and you cry and you let it out you release it in whatever way that you release your emotion it comes and it'll go it will go but if you don't it'll keep knocking at your door that negative emotion say that i brought this to your awareness that maybe you seek validation from an external source you're aware of this now so you are now able to change that that's why i said allow me to give you this gift of observation of self-observation how can you improve yourself? That's what life is about. How can you become the best you? And I believe that self-validation, self-confidence, self-care, self-talk, self, the things that we talk about here on the joyful side have to do with improving yourself. That's why I do what I do. Another thing we're going to talk about right now is how does it impact you from an external source, that happiness, that dopamine that we neurologically receive is temporary. Because we're getting it from another person. If you get it from yourself and you consistently remind yourself of how loved you are and how precious you are and how smart you are, you can remind yourself that all you want. And you can feel that dopamine naturally, neurologically, all you want if you look within. You have to stop looking externally and outwards. You need to look within. Because when you look within, like I said, you're winning. You're winning in your bucks, okay? When you stop looking to external sources for validation, you're no longer abandoning yourself, right? Because when we abandon ourselves, that means that we don't talk with ourselves. That means that we don't take time to observe our thought patterns and our, and our habits and why we do things. When you gain that self-awareness and that self-observance, uh, self you also gain that self-validation. All that it takes in life to improve is observance, awareness, and acceptance. And that's the hardest part to healing in general is acceptance. Hardest step. The hardest step. And why I'm talking about healing now is because if you want to heal, you want to improve, you're going to unlearn some, some negative behaviors. And for example, lack of self-validation can be one of them. Right? Because if you're not aware that you don't have self-validation, if you're not able to provide yourself the love, the care, the, the appreciation that you deserve, that's something that can be unlearned. Because as I said in the beginning of the video, when we're young, it stems from childhood, we look for external sources. So when do we say, when should I start validating myself? That's a question that I'm asking you, and from this moment forward, you are able to take and grow. I overall love to help people. I really do. And that is why I do this YouTube channel, and we talk, we sit down, we talk. By the way, I am sitting, okay? I'm in my bathroom. People have asked me that. Um, do I sit? Do I, what am I? I'm sitting. <laughs> I am sitting on my bathroom floor. <laughs> I have gotten some some questions in my youtube videos and just in person even and things like that so i am going to be doing a q a 
one day soon on my YouTube channel. So if you made it this far, I want you to comment down below some questions that you may have for me. It can have to do with anything. It can have to do with my YouTube journey, my hair, my personal life, Anything that you would like to know, I am going to answer. I'm really excited to do that. So then we can get to know each other a little bit more here on the joyful side. Because this is this is a really good side to be on. We practice self-validation. We practice self-confidence. We practice self-care. Right? We talk about how there's different types of self-care. How is self-confidence beneficial? If you want to know all that type of stuff, I have videos on that already. And you want to improve yourself further. Because this video alone, I feel is very educational. And very valuable information that I'm sharing. So from the bottom of my heart, I mean every word that I say with love and care. And look at it. Look at the information I'm giving you in a perspective of I want to help. Personally, I have been on a very long healing journey. Self discovery journey and there have been some people some lessons that I've learned in life that have helped me to become who I am today and to obtain the knowledge that I have today in the fact that I have that self-observation and that self-awareness I'm able to recognize those people those lessons as blessings in my life because let me leave you with this everything in your life I said this in my YouTube video my first YouTube video well, no matter what Anybody that comes into your life is either a lesson, a blessing, or both. And I truly believe that. If you allow yourself to obtain as much knowledge as life is giving you in that moment, in that lesson, in that hardship, you're going to grow. I appreciate every moment that I have because I appreciate myself. Like, it, it really does stem from within. And I appreciate it because I'm, I'm able... To appreciate it because I have that self-observance and a self-awareness when that when you have that self-awareness the relationship that you have with yourself impacts everything else around you so when you are appreciative of yourself and you can appreciate other situations you can appreciate the lessons given to you so personally I have learned a lot myself I do like to learn a lot and and that's why I do YouTube because I like to share what I learn and also personally document it so when I'm older I'll I'll be able to say wow when I was that old I knew that like that's me setting myself up for self-validation in the future I'm already proud of myself for my YouTube journey and all the journeys that I've been on in my 17 years of existence so far um, but I'm able to self-validate that and therefore appreciate it so one of the biggest benefits of self-validation is appreciation for other things and yourself most importantly like, I was just a little girl at one point in time, very, like, just unhealed, just the un the most unhealed version of myself possible. And I wanted to be, like, who I am today. I wanted somebody like me to be in my life when I was a kid. And now I am that person for many people, like my YouTube family and kids. I work with kids. So I love that because I am able to be that positive role model and that person they come to when they're feeling down and know that they're with a, a safe um, person. I like to be that safe person for everybody else watching this because I really wish that I had somebody like me as in my life when I was a kid. But I do have me now and I love me <laughs> I feel like I've talked a lot <laughs> um, so I am finished with the video wait I'm gonna take my thumbnail out now ready <laughs> all right well that is it for me my mom's calling right now oh, that is it for me Oh, that's a, I think that's a good one too. Anyway, yes. So I hope that uh, you learned a lot from this video and you take it and you grow and you start to self-validate yourself. It will benefit you. If you do have any questions, comments, additional thoughts that you would like to uh, give to me personally, I will love for you to message me on Instagram. Please go about this video in the best way that you possibly can. It is an, uh, an absolute gift that you're watching this video. 
it is um it's very valuable information and i hope that you take it and you grow and i am honored to be a part of that journey with you and your growth and your personal development and your self-discovery so with that being said my instagram dms are always open make sure to leave questions down below in this video um for my q a that is upcoming it's not going to be like any other q a though i am going to add my own questions that if i didn't know me i would want to know so i will be taking your questions answering your questions but i'm also going to add some a little mine because like i said I'm really i'm really big on self-love and under that umbrella of self-love falls a lot of things like self-confidence self-validation falls under that and what i want to do is i want to validate myself and not look for only external sources aka you guys uh, for questions i want to look externally and then internally to me and see if i didn't know me what would i want to know so that is the goal that is uh definitely an upcoming video i do have some other really fun things planned with that being said i will see you for my next youtube video